So, we are going to still kill that dragon. However, I probably cut most of the footage of it because we ran out of stuff. So instead, we're going to go kill King Duran. King Duran Duran. And we're going to get his sword. Or, well, yeah, actually it is his sword. His sword and armor. And his armor. Oh, jeez. This guy's like insane, apparently. Yeah, this guy's kind of a nuisance. Well, you should expect... Oh, whoa, what are you doing there? <laughs> Trying to cast second chance, but I don't have time. You should expel everything in the world that's a nuisance to you. That's what I do, by killing it. You should kill it with the power of God. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. And he disappears. Oh, you had something you wanted to talk about. Oh, wait, before we do that. So, yeah, I thought you... You wanted me to mention this. This guy's like a, a demigod. He was one of the past rulers of this country, of Bulataria. Okay. I don't know which ruler, like if he was like the first one or whatever. I mean, we'll see stuff on his armor, but that's him. The king's sword. I am the old king. Show me thy strength and the power of thy souls. I like the idea that he's just standing in here this whole time. <laughs> I know. Well, just well, like holding his sword this entire time, waiting for someone to come challenge him. Well, he's super strong, too. Jeez. He's basically a boss. Well, it seems like he also dodges pretty fast. Oh, he does. Well, I feel like this is going to take a long time, because this actually is kind of tough. Uh, I wouldn't say it's going to take a long time. Oh, jeez. Well, I was considering if we should maybe... What do you want? Holy arrows? Rotten. Or... Oh, okay. Because we can technically... Um, you can poison him? Yes. Can you draw him out and, like, push him off the ledge? I think you might be able to, but it's actually really hard to do. But he's, like, really annoying with how little he actually does at the beginning of this boss fight. And so this whole thing is basically to test if you're... You have impressed one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran. Thou hast proven thy strength to me. Step forth and take the king's sword in thy hand. Why does he sound like a mixture between Sheev Palpatine and Balin from The Hobbits? I don't know, but we can't carry it. Wait, <laughs> really? Yeah, apparently it's. So you have to drop something? I guess to pick it up. How are we at capacity? Like because are... you are carrying eight hundred arrows. Well, okay. Wait, what do we have in swords? Uh, things we need. Except okay. For these. Like, I mean, you could drop the hands of God for right now. Well, can't you send stuff to your inventory or to? Yeah, actually, why don't we just send? Well, you can send the sharp stones. Okay, what button is it? I'm clicking... It's literally X. Okay. And then you could probably send the hand of God in the... Uh, and maybe like the that... Catalyst. Maybe like that Claymore for right now? Yeah, actually. I mean, we can always pick it up later. Nice. Demon Brand, yep. So, so now we, we have act, that. We have to kill him, actually? Yeah, although technically that's the evil thing to do, is to kill him. But we need to to get his armor. Which is actually really good. Huh. Maybe he doesn't fight? N no, he will. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like how the whole time he's like, at least make it a challenge for me, and then doesn't do anything, and then all of a sudden just turns it on. I know, right? Wait, now he has full health. Yep. Why is he, like, so good at dodging, too? I don't know, but at close range you can hit him. We're gonna have to buy more rotten arrows, by the way. Yeah. You had something funny to talk about. Yeah, I did. Should I wait till we at least more of a guarantee will win? No, because we need something to talk about. We can always cut back if oh, I die. Geez. Okay. Holy shit. So, let's see here. 
They didn't. He didn't dodge this much in the original. Do you think they upped his dodging? I don't know. Why does he seem like a god at dodging? Well, he is a demigod. Huh. So yeah, something I want to talk about. So, I found this kind of funny. Um, my favorite uh, hockey team are the Penguins, right? Right. Well, this is actually a story that's pretty relevant with them. So, <laughs> the Pittsburgh Penguins co-owner of the team, mm -hmm. Ron Burkle. Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy, yes. He actually just bought a new a uh, mansion, right? Okay. Guess which one it is. Epstein's? No, he bought... <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. Oh. No, he bought uh, Michael Jackson's Neverland. Wait, really? Yeah, he actually bought that. <laughs> Why can't I cast... <laughs> and you really need a magic with you. I have it. What about the arrows? Well, what do you mean, what about the arrows? The soul arrows. Can you cast those? <clears throat> I can, but they don't do much. Oh. So I was trying to see if I could use a thing to, you know, have more defense. Right. Apparently I can't. Um, okay. So wait, so he bought Neverland? Yeah, he actually bought Neverland. Like Michael Jackson's old mansion that he used to have. <laughs> This guy, Ron Burkle, just bought that mansion. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I find that kind of funny. I don't know why you'd even want to own that. Well, and here's the thing. Does Michael Jackson have family? Oh, no. Yep, he does. So wh wh why, uh, why don't they own it? Or do they just want to sell it? Boy, if I were them, I would have gotten rid of that. Maybe that's what it is. They just want to just get rid of it out of their family name? Possibly, yeah. I, by the way, I don't really know how to beat this guy. I think you're just going to have to hit him and dodge roll. Because he... I think you probably just have to avoid the arrow thing. But it's like almost impossible to hit him because he seems to have more reach than I do. Yep. There is a way to backstab him, but I don't know... And then he just dodges that. And he swings faster, too. Yep. Yeah, we've got to kill him to get this armor. Can you just, like... What? Not kill him? Sure, I... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I want to take the pacifist run. I mean, I suppose we could just not kill him, but then we wouldn't get any of his stuff. Right. Well, what else would you get for you? Is it just the armor? I really want the armor, else? and I think we'll get his sword. Okay. Or... I'm not sure if we'll get a sword, but I want to see if we do. The armor is like one of the best sets in the game. Right. I know we'll I have to he, buy think, more of these. I think he's poisoned. He's not yet. He will be soon. How does someone get poisoned? You just keep shooting them with that? Yeah, it's it stacks, kind of. Oh, okay. Huh. I know. And I know we're going to have to buy more, and I don't... It's annoying, but... Seems so dumb. <laughs> okay. It is dumb. If we had toxic clout, I could just do it that way, but I don't have it. Toxic clout? Clout, yeah. You basically contact Team 10. And you get in a music video. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Huh. What if you invite this guy to your Neverland mansion? Oh, I hit him. That's a good idea. I should invite the whole team. What whole team? The hockey team. Oh, like the Penguins hockey team. Yeah. Okay. Are, are you, like, really tired here? Do you want me to come up with a topic of discussion? I am kind of tired. Oh. I had a question for you. Okay. When do you think the can shortage will end in the United States? Uh, next week. Oh, okay. Once that I, was the whole question. Once I finally release all the cans that I have stocked up this whole time, back into the world. Oh, you've been you've I, been keeping I, them. I am the one that has been keeping these cans, actually. Well, I can use them you for my stop. <laughs> I use them for my jellies and jams. <laughs> Did you get it? No. I said, "Can you please stop?" What is can? Like a like a can, like a can shortage. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> okay, why don't you die? <laughs> oh my god! Man, this guy seems really obnoxious. <laughs> he is. 
He is. He really is. Man, do we need to teach him the power of God? We do, but he doesn't believe. Should I go and minister to him? I wish you could. Ooh. Oh, oh, he almost set you up for a backstab. Yeah, and then he moved randomly. Oh, oh, jeez. This battle is just annoying. You're right, and what's weird is that he hasn't been poisoned. Yeah, and also you can like randomly dodge those too. And he comes out here even though he's not supposed to. <laughs> okay, he's at half health. Can we actually move this guy to the rotten veil and then he can just be plagued? I wish. So that's that plague has to be the highest in the game, right? Yeah, the plague. That, <laughs> yeah. Well, like the plague um like I don't know, like your the your streak or whatever. Yeah. To it, I don't know what, what to resistance. Call it. Yeah, it has to be like Oh, the I, w highest. I would say you're in the you're in the blood for like literally two seconds, and you're already plagued. Oh my gosh! Okay. Which is the reason why you had to basically cheese that fight if you didn't want to kill Garl Vinlin during it. But you get a trophy. Yeah, that's why I said you had to cheese it. Yeah. So that's why to get a trophy. I do oh, like trophies. No. I do like digital achievements. They're the only things that matter to me. True achievements are for losers. Uh, trophies, not achievements. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, real achievements, like, in life. Like, oh, I ministered to the homeless. Or, like, oh, what? I... Who does that? I what? was, uh, I gave to children in need. <laughs> what? Stupid. People do that? Dumb. No one cares about that. You're an idiot if you do that. In <laughs> fact, you should only care about yourself. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, leave me is alone, he, like, please. is he turning it on right now? What? Is he turning it on right now? Oh, jeez. He's, he's like... Me on. <laughs> I mean, no. How is he not poisoned? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he has, like, high resistance to poison. He does have high resistance to it, but he's not, like, immune. Well, okay. maybe maybe they made him immune and you just didn't remember it. Stop moving. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I know. Some of these fights have been made really annoying. <laughs> yep. Were they this annoying in the original game? Yes. Is this like is this even better than the original? No. Like in terms of the fights. Well, I don't know. I mean, like this fight's not any better. This was equally as annoying. Yeah. Except I feel like I was better at it. I don't know why this is taking so long. I don't think he can heal. If he can, I just literally want to head over to From Software and yell at somebody. <laughs> I kind of want to do that anyways. Okay, come on. Oh, man, this is kind of... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's going to hit you. Dude, you need to get out of this room. Oh, jeez. Can you, like, shoot these trebuchets at the guy? I wish. I like how you know that word. Yeah, I mean, I'm a history nerd. Son of a bitch. Get out of here. Do you actually know who invented the trebuchet? No, um, is it Charles Trebuchet? It's Charles Trebuchet, actually. <laughs> I like Charles Trebuchet better. <laughs> come on. Come on, come back here. So actually, I believe Alexander the Great was the first person to use a form of a trebuchet. Really? I Did believe he invent so. it, though? I don't know if he invented it, but I think he was one of the first people to act... Whoa, geez. He was one of the first people to actually use it in battle regularly. I don't actually know if he invented it or not, but... Oh, what if Holy Arrows kill him because he's a demigod? Oh, jeez, these are, like, way better. Yeah. I just can't believe he never got poisoned. Yep. What, do you have, like, 70 arrows you shot into him? Yeah, we're gonna have to buy those again for the dragon, too. Yep. I hope you get a lot of them from killing this guy. I don't even remember what you get in terms of souls. <laughs> he, like, he like freaks out when you shoot him. I like how he's fine with you hitting him with your sword. Whoa, jeez. Oh, did you do? Whoa, dude, that's like a nut shot. That's like an actual nut shot. Can you drop the brightness? Uh, I can do that. No, not really. Huh. I did want to get a picture of him if I could. You should get a picture of you shooting at him. Come back. Come on. Come out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Imagine if you killed me now. 
I don't know. What if he did? It suck. What would you do about it, huh? I'd cry. Are you gonna be a pussy? This is like the worst let's play part of all time. Oh, I know this. Well, the boss is so annoying. No, I mean in terms of us talking, we're not even saying anything. Okay. Monochrome antique. Boy, he looks kind of creepy. <laughs> is that his face or is that a mask? That is a mask. Okay. I was gonna say, is he like rolling around in the dirt? That's no. Why would you say that? Because his face is dirty. <laughs> like, why else would I be saying well, that? That's kind of racist. How is that racist? <laughs> well, like the dirt races are proud people. The dirt race. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I couldn't get a cool picture of him, so we're just gonna kill him. Is that how you work in life? <laughs> That's why I do in Pokemon Snap, too. Like, I can't get a good picture, I just take a shotgun out out the window, and I'm like, alright, time to get rid of these Pokemon. That's a re Remember that Smosh video? It's like... One where, like, that guy was being interviewed, and he was saying, like, all, like, the wrong names for the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's gonna die. You should kill him with your sword. Nice. Oh, nice! Finally! <laughs> wow! Was that annoying? Ancient, Ancient kings. kings. Yep. So this stuff is awesome. Eternal Warriors ring. Oh, what's the what's the ring do? All right. First off, we're gonna look at this. I feel bad killing that guy because he's actually technically a good guy, but also he just sits around and does nothing. So he doesn't contribute anything to the world, which means he gets axed. That's very uh, classist and communist of you. That's my... I like it. Oh wait! Oh, I can dress up as the king and stand here. You're a little excited there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, inventory. So first off, the Ancient King's Mask. The bronze mask of the demigod of Boletaria, King Duran Duran. This actually looks like a mask of... It's a famous mask of uh, Agamemnon. Okay, I don't know who that is, but consume tight. <laughs> the king in the uh, Iliad. Look at this. 31 instead of 27, and 34 nice. instead of whatever. <laughs> I like how we're just shirtless underneath. Yeah. You look like an idiot. I'm still fast rolling, right? Yeah, this looks like a fast roll. Do you want to actually wear this armor? Yeah. Okay. I wish he wasn't shirtless. What about that? That is disgusting. <laughs> well, you could. Jeez. I suppose you could do that, but. That <laughs> <laughs> looks so dumb. Like, this is actually really good armor. Yeah. yeah. That's why I wanted to wear it. Okay. But let's look at the Ring of Eternal Suffering or whatever it is. <laughs> that's like me watching you do that boss there. <laughs> it sucked, dude. We have to actually talk about something, too, because I feel like that was boring as shit for people. Okay. Uh, Ring. Eternal Warrior's Ring. Increases stamina <laughs> recovery speed. Ring of Eternal Suffering. <laughs> like, nothing to do with what you Eternal. Said. Look, it's the same Oh, thing. okay. Um... The hero Duran, guardian of the Boletarian royal family, lies lives in perpetuity as a demigod. So, what is the Boletarian uh, royal family? I guess Alant was one of them. Okay, and uh, Ovarian or whatever his name was. <laughs> Ovarian, <laughs> like whatever that guy's name. Not his name, but okay. Oscar or whatever. <laughs> Wait, so what would be a good sign to do right here? Do the this one. That's not a good sign to do in general. <laughs> what about? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait since the background looks like a stained glass is there one of you like doing worship symbols or something oh like, that's you, a like good praising point. god that's a good point am i in the middle though of this need to line everything up i here. think you're about two millimeters too far on the right actually oh boy we know that the people who are watching this let's play are really invested anyway since there are only like 200 people watching it <laughs> They're like the only good fans. Wow, that's not very nice to say. <laughs> uh, well, it's true. Why am I facing that way? Because you were facing that way. Well, isn't there one of you like putting your hands up like you're praising God? I think so, yeah. Applause, uh, anger, sadness, offering. Offering would be a good one. Plead, gratitude, point up, hope, honor. What is hope? Respect. Uh, 
Oh, wait, wait, don't do that facing the the statue. How am I going to get a picture of myself doing that? It'd be from the back. Oh. I don't want ass shots. Well, I do. <laughs> Fair enough. We have a big fan base of people that are into I that. I thought you were going to say we have a big fat ass. <laughs> well, we have that, too. We have a Hugh Jassel. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a good shot. Oh, wait, you have like a like a ram on your back. Huh. What even is that? It's like a ram. <laughs> Thank you. You said what it was. <laughs> Thank you. What are you looking for here? Like, Do you just want validation? I was or? looking for, like, what is the lore to the ram? Like, is the ram a god or something? Or it's what? probably just a symbol of the, of the family. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that there was, like, deep lore to it. Well, okay. Sorry for, like, not knowing something, well, I you, guess. You're supposed to know everything. That's pretty cool. What if we could get that armor set? What if? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You do that to me all the time. What? 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 The, I don't know. What if we could? <sighs> like, I don't really respect you making fun of me. Stings, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, actually. Okay. It makes me want to kill ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you walk us back? Yeah. This is the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. Here's what we're going to do. We got old King Duran's armor. Okay. Now we're going to go and shoot the dragon a bunch. I probably showed a little bit of that from before, but we... Okay, nice. What? That's good. Uh, we couldn't kill him because we ran out of stuff. But now we have plenty. We have a ton of rotten arrows, holy arrows, normal arrows... There's no reason why we can't kill this dragon. Um, we even had we even have a sharpening stone. Yeah, douchebag of the twin fangs is dead, but douchebag. I don't know his name. Was that like Martin of the twin fangs or something? No, it's Bior okay, of the twin fangs. Whatever. It reminds me of for some reason I thought of Twin Cities. I thought it was Martin of the twin fangs. No. The Twin Cities actually is a is a giant robot in uh, real steel. Wait, really? Yep, there's a robot called the Twin Cities. Is it actually named um, Minneapolis and St. Paul? They don't have specific names. It's just a two-headed robot, basically. That is one of like the one of like the world champions. He's actually con it's kind of interesting because he's controlled by a computer by two different people. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, Wait, you're bad. Oh, jeez! Oh my gosh! So I did have something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. I think it would be interesting here. So I was talking about something um, on Twitter. Okay. The Lord's site. And basically, the, the friend zone came up. Oh, I am, I am very familiar with this. So I wanted to get your opinion on this. I said, this is what I said. I said, if I, I did a bunch of clapping emojis too, because I thought it made me sound official. Please clap. I said, if she isn't interested, don't waste your time. I don't get guys who stay friends with girls who lead them on. There's 7.5 billion people out there. I don't waste your emotional investment or time on people who don't deserve you. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Uh, to an extent, yes. Okay. By the way, uh, aren't you gonna poison him? Oh yeah. So what I mean by that, though, is not like you can't be friends with a girl. Right. It's like if you're interested in a girl and she is just not having it, not interested in you at all, you've tried several times. But also, why did you let him go there? It's going to be harder to hit him than if you had just left him there and shot him for a while. I don't know. Because none of these have hit. Huh. I don't... Well, can I... Can I go over here? I don't know. Why'd you go this way? Because I don't know. I thought it'd be a shortcut. It is a shortcut, but it made the fight way harder. We might have to reset it. Because the the goal you want is to get him poisoned before he gets there. Well, now it sounds like he might move. Okay, thank God. There he goes. Okay, cool. I'm just going to have him like kill this guy so he's not shooting me with yeah. fire. Okay, so, so here's what I had to say about that. I also said... I'm not saying don't be nice to people, but you don't have to be everyone's friend, especially if you think someone is leading you on over and over again. It's not worth your time. Right. What do you think? Um, do you think you should let people lead you on? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. I think that, um... So in terms of, like, the friend zone, I... I kind of see it both ways, because, like, I... I mean, I'm someone who literally was married to... I'm married to someone that I wouldn't say I was in the friend zone, but I was friends with her while she had two different boyfriends that weren't me. Right. If you shoot up on the body, it's easier to actually hit the... Okay. So, I think that there... But, like, I, I just stayed friends with her. Now, we were just friends anyways. You know, I'm not going to, like, not be friends with her, but... Right, but you also didn't become her friend to sleep with her. Like specifically, well, uh, yeah. I mean, no, you, I know. <laughs> you were already friends when you started liking her, right? I think that's different, right? This is like you're being friends with someone because you want to date them, and over and over and again, they just keep dating other people, and they're not into you. Oh, he's he's now poisoned. Yeah, I think that's kind of dumb. Like you're just wasting your time, right? And your and your emotional investment because like it's gonna like look. It sounds stupid, but like I don't care. Like if you're the most macho man ever, right? Like, like, it's like macho man, feelings. Randy Savage. Yeah, hey brother. It's going to hurt your feelings. Right. And make you feel like garbage. So why are you doing that? Right. I really agree with a response I got to this, actually, believe it or not, which I quote tweeted from Dark Nightmare. Talk to him sometimes on Twitter. He said the friend zone is basically a girl making a big-hearted guy be her personal therapist for free with no benefit to him, which isn't a friendship. That's true. And then he said it's pretty much being a cuck with extra steps. (laughs) You do all the emotional catering for her, but she will always be in bed with another guy. <laughs> I like his wordage there. I agree with him completely. But yeah, that's basically what it is. And there's all these like people and there's all these guys in friend zones that women are literally doing stuff like sending them their nudes. I'm not joking to be like, "Hey, should I send this to my boyfriend?" Right. Or like, "Hey, can you uh go and you know, can like I move like that stupid fan I don't, there. <laughs> you know, like they do all these things or like, hey, can you give me a back massage? Right. Or like, hey, can you go and you want to run to the store with me? And hey, it's can, like, can you screw me real quick to get me ready for my boyfriend? Yeah. That one too. <laughs> That's a big friend zone one I've had. Uh, you, like, you've oh, experienced you that You want me lot? to fluff you. Yeah. Right. Okay, I guess I'll help. Right. Yeah, I'll, and I'll do it for feminism. That's what I say. <laughs> and I channel the spirit of Joss Whedon through me as wow, I Wow, that is very woke. Yeah. I don't know how someone can get so woke, actually. Uh, but, it's very difficult. But, yeah, I don't know. I um, It's kind of stupid. Like, if you're a guy, what are you doing? Like, we, you, you could just go with a woman and do all those things and then also sleep with her. Like another woman? Yeah, like a different woman. Okay, I thought you meant the same woman. No, you can, like, go to a different woman and do all those exact same things... And literally then also get the benefits of, like, dating a woman. Fair enough, but there's, like, millions of other women out there. Millions. If that that specific woman is not interested in you, why are you wasting your time? Right, exactly. That's kind of what I'm saying. If she is not even willing to give you the time of day, why are you wasting your time? Also, she is not worth your time. No, she's not. I know that that sounds douchey, but here's the thing. If a woman is... I say the same thing about a man, by the way. There are men that do this to women, too. I'm talking from the perspective of being a straight white man. You're talking about the from the perspective of you being one of these men. Uh, well, no, I'm talking about the perspective of basically being society's Lucifer, a straight <laughs> white man. Um, because I have experienced this before, where it's like you pour all this time into a girl, and she's out there just drilling other guys. You know what right. I mean? And, like, you know, doing whatever and doesn't even notice you in that way. Oh, you have to poison him again. And I would do it now so that he's poisoned when he flies away. Um, Can you not poison him while he's over there? It's harder because you can't hit him as often. Oh, okay. Um, So, like, the poison effect stacks as a chance every time you hit. And so, like, the less shots you can hit, the less it's going to matter, you know? Oh. And since later on we can hit him less, we want to hit him with all of our highest stuff then as he's poisoned okay so anyways what i was gonna say about this though is that basically what you're doing is he poisoned yep oh nice um is you're just devoting all this time to someone who doesn't see you in that way at all will never see you in that way right uh, is more interested in other people and frankly here's the other thing a lot of these people will say stuff like i wish i had someone like you right and it's like well i'm someone like me but they don't want you and that is leading you on Yep. That 100% is leading you on. Um, And at a certain point, it's your fault, too. 
Right. And I don't mean that because it's like you're doing it to yourself, but at a certain point you are enabling it if you keep letting this person do this to you. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh I think it's really douchey to be on Ace Move. Yep. I think it's very douchey, you know, because it's like <laughs> that random shot. Well, that's gonna hit him actually. Oh, jeez, you're like <laughs> I play, yeah, Which see that it hit him. Oh, no. You're like phase three sixty or whatever. <laughs> what are you? I'm phase Demon Brandt. <laughs> I'm phase Hugh Jassel. Phase Joshua. Joss Whedon? Is that what you're talking about? Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah I don't so, know. I think it. So I have to go down. By the way. What do you mean? Like I can't have him from back here. I have to go like way up here, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Best you can. It's where you're under him. Oh, whoa, jeez, he can hit you from here. I, I'm done. I'm trying. How can he hit you from up here? I thought he couldn't. Oh no. 